Well, good Saturday morning. I am back out here at the barn. Show you what uh, I've accomplished so far. That last video uh, ended up running a little long. And uh, so there are the vertical boards and then the other boards going up and um, I'll have to cut the battens for that, but the spacing is 24 inches on those. I didn't mill those down to two, two by fours. They are anywhere from five inches to eight inches wide, but I guess I need to stop and feed the cows. But uh, on the inside of here, I put the wall up and then I, I laid a two by, uh, don't have my tape measure on me. I think that's five and a half inches. Put those out, but that'll be nice for shelves. Not sure if I want to do the one right there in the, at the top for a shelf too. Still thinking about this big opening. At the uh, far end, you can see I ended up going to Tractor Supply Veterans Day, 15% off, and I bought a new gate. So we've got a gate at that end. This is north facing, so the wind, the storms, everything else come in here. And really, I don't want the cold air flowing through here. So I may just end up putting a wall right here. So let's feed the cows. several things going on today and uh, one of them on the solar kiln I've kind of been fighting with the hinges on the door thinking that was a good option was the uh, gate hinge strap but the door is kept twisting whenever they opened and that's been a problem okay so I went and bought some of these strap hinges and in the strap hinges it keeps from the sagging but you can see on the bottom of the door that's maple wood that was a two by four left over I put it on the sawmill trimmed it down one inch trying to cover up the gaps in the door You could see the grain on this board. The pith was right here. And the rings are circling this way. This would be the bark side up. So the bark would have been on this side of the tree. I want the bark out. So if it tries to cup, uh, the nails in it will keep it down instead of it cupping out like you see some boards that warp. And then when the batten goes on there, that'll take care of holding down these sides as well.
sheep are crying, the dogs are barking. Sorry about all the racket if you're having to put up with it. Um, a little adjustment here. So what I want to do on this wall is what I had done on this wall. Put a top two by four here. Put a brace, which will end up being a shelf. One there, one there. Still thinking about that third one up, putting one on there. Nailing a board down flat like that will tr keep a lot of, as this dries, from bowing in and out, looking like a snake, uh, to better support that wall. Then I'll let it dry for a few weeks. Put that Thompson water sealer on it. Saw the board and batten, probably put those in the solar kiln, expedite the drying, and then I, what I'll do is probably Thompson water seal the battens before I nail them. Um, I may even screw them on place. Uh, the, the screws seem like they, they don't back out as easy. So what I'm going to do now is take the measurement up above and um, see what I need lengthwise for a 2 by 4 Give me a place to hang my tape measure on. Just a smidgen over a one hundred five, one oh five. Well, my battery is trying to die, trying to get all this done. So the boards I found are one and a quarter or five quarter, however you want to look at them. This one's eight and a half inch, so made an eight and a half inch deep shelf. This one's seven and a half. And, um, well, that's five quarter. That's inch and an eighth. Inch and a quarter and inch and an eighth. Anyway, if I want those shelves deeper, then I can just add another board on top and bring them out. Or, if I don't want them sticking out as far, I'll just circular saw, jigsaw, cut them down some. But, uh, so now the next thing I need to do is go ahead and seal the wood, both inside and outside, let that dry, cut the battens, get ready to... Uh, dry the battens and then put them on let me show you the very bottom of this wall all right so the gravel I don't have this built up still trying to decide concrete or just more gravel but I'll probably line the outside with treated wood and then level up to that with the gravel and just make this a nice level gravel spot until I get the pricing. I kind of priced a, a concrete slab and it was $3,500. And it's like, oh my gosh, I, I don't know if I can afford that. But anyway, I appreciate you watching. Uh, go ahead and share. Somebody out there could use this. So, thanks once again. God bless.